Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Am I talking to anybody over here? Am I alone? So nobody is here. I am alone today. Anyone there that can hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. All right. All the moves down. Thank you guys for joining. How is everything today? How are you? How are you feeling? I just had this one. Hi, good morning. Hi, good evening, teacher. Sorry. It's yeah. okay. Good morning, my dear. I'm still driving. You're still in the morning, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, I give me, give me a couple of minutes. You're driving, right? Yes. All right, all right. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I understand. I understand. Well, I see a lot of listeners today. I don't know. I'm going to be talking to myself. I don't know what's going on. Marilyn, are you there? Hi, good evening. Yes. Here. Hi, good evening. How's how's everything? How are you? Oh, it's fine. All right. How was your day? How so, was your you see, I think... <laughs> Sorry? It's, um it's easy. What's easy? All right, all right. Why? Why? <laughs> so, why, 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 why? Well, Because um um I had a, a sit down all time. A what? Sorry. And, uh, sit down, sentada. Oh, sitting down. You spend the day sitting down. Yeah. Yeah, and all the time and all day, and so in this day, and I um. Oh. Don't, yeah, don't walk uh, a lot. Of. Okay, did you, you, you not walk a lot? Okay, yeah. I understand. I understand that. Well, let me tell you that you are the only one available right now. I do not know what's going on with the rest ones. They are as listeners, but I don't know what's going on, to be honest. So you are the only one right now that is available. And teacher, and I have a question. Yes. What is your question? Yes. So, 
Uh, tomorrow, uh, in my job, um, yes. it will be the the, uh, the the dinner Christmas. The Christmas dinner. Yeah, the Christmas dinner. Yeah, tomorrow, and so that is um seven p.m. to eleven p.m. It is from seven p.m. to eleven p.m. Yeah. Okay, I understand. I can hear you only, but I don't know because and you know, for the the internet, but and I I will um I will I will do the possible for the connect the classes. All right, all right. Yes, just join join the session, and uh, if you cannot participate, write lis listener before or write before your name. In that way, I will understand that you are just listening to the class and that you're okay. not available for participation. But it's very, very important important that you connect, that you join to the session. Okay. Okay. In that way, you will you will not have any issues with the with the with the time later on. At the time of a rolling for the next module, yes. yes. All right. Um, is there another person available? Miguel is still driving. Marilyn is over here. I don't know who else is available. Or at least text, send a message in the chat. At least say something in the chat. Good evening. Since you're not saying anything, I'm going to say that you're not here right now. No. Yo creo no. Que no, hay nadie más. Sí. no, 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 no. I'm not going to take attendance. I'm going to just put no. There's nobody saying anything. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. All right, thank you. Coach Mauricio. Hello. I'm Mauricio, and I'm here, but I'm driving now. So I'm listening for a few minutes. Let me see. All right, thank you. Thank okay, you. I'm sorry if you mentioned my name, but I didn't respond. All right, all right. Thank you. Okay, thanks. All right. Let's see. Let's begin. Uh, I already took attendance. Let me see. Let's begin with the with the session. So I'm just gonna be working uh, with Elizabeth and Marilyn. Yourself. 
All right. Teacher. Hello. In my case, I am still working. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, people, thank you for showing up today, for being here. Today is class number 18. It's Thursday, November 23rd. And uh, we're going to start by reviewing uh, yesterday's grammar topic. And the grammar topic that we studied yesterday was tag questions. So we're going to be reviewing the tag questions for a few minutes. This, uh, as I said yesterday, it's a very interesting topic because it helps a lot. You can use it on your daily basis, or I mean, you can use it every day. I use it a lot because it is uh, really uh, useful, essential uh, for everyday conversations. So what we were dealing with was this, that that question will depend on two essential aspects. Number one, the auxiliary in the statement. When I say auxiliary, I am talking about, let me show you, or let me give you a list of auxiliaries. There are many, many auxiliaries in English. We have many of them, yes. Let me show you, or let me write down a few of those. Okay, this is two. All right. Let's see, we got has. Have, will, would, should, could, can, had, is, are, am, were, was, what else? Well, I'm forgetting right now. Um, Do, does, did. Do, does, and did. Let me think of the tenses. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Can you guys help me out? I need more auxiliaries. Am I missing one? I'm not really sure. I cannot remember right now. And get? Mm, no, get is not an auxiliary. I think my, my, my let me see. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Should, could, can. May. We have may and might. I know we have may and might, but those ones, well, actually we have may, might, and must. Oops. And must. It's the same. These ones, uh, I'm not, I don't think we, we can use them with that questions. These three, they don't, they don't uh -huh. sound correct. They don't sound correct. That's why okay. I, did, I did not mention, and even I did not mention them yesterday because yesterday we were dealing with this. I only mm -hmm. mentioned the other ones, but I did I did not mention may, might, and must. Yes. Okay. For me, they they sound they sound cor incorrect and they sound weird to say uh say this, but we we can uh do some some uh, it maybe maybe you can use it, but it's not very very common. Because it doesn't really exist like mayn't, the, the, the negative form, mayn't, mm, doesn't really, really uh, uh, go with it, yes. Also, might, mightn't, mightn't, some, something like that will be like the, the, the how can I say, the, the tag question. So, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think it can be used. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, that's why I, I did not include it. So it, the same thing with, with my might and may, maybe, maybe we can use them, but it's not really, really, really that common. Or it might take a different structure, but I'm not really sure. I haven't done something about that. Must, uh, yeah, must, I think we can use it. Still not very, very common to use it. 
All right. Very good. We got the, the, the auxiliaries, a bunch of auxiliaries. So it says it says right here in the definition, in the, the first aspect, the auxiliary in the statement. We have all these auxiliaries. It can be either affirmative, or, excuse me, it can be either an affirmative auxiliary, auxiliary or a negative auxiliary. Yes. The second aspect says the following. If the statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. If the statement is negative, the tag question is affirmative. Yes, very good. Let me show you the, hold on. Let me show you, excuse me, not that. Yes. Okay, here we go. We got the auxiliary right, right there with that questions. And let me help you out with the negative form. Hasn't, excuse me. Hasn't. Haven't. Want. Wouldn't. Shouldn't. Couldn't, can't, hadn't, isn't, aren't, aren't, weren't, wasn't, Don't, doesn't, didn't, and maybe, maybe, may, mayn't, but I do not recommend that one, or may, subject, excuse me, may plus subject plus not, maybe like that, in that, in that case, possible. My mightn't? I don't think so. I don't think so. I honestly don't don't think so. Maybe like that. The same with mustn't. So how how do we use that question? What is the structure of a that question? The structure is very short. Auxiliary. Auxiliary plus subject. Auxiliary plus subject. That is the structure for a tag question. Let me give you an example of one. It is a good, oops, a good day. Isn't it? It is a good day, isn't it? Look at this. Right here we have we have the structure. The auxiliary isn't and the, the subject it isn't it. All right. And that is the structure of, of the tag question. It's not really complicated. What you need to pay attention to is the subject and the verb being used. The subject and the auxiliary. You need to pay attention to that part to avoid any problems or any mistakes. Yes. Because this is what... This is what, this is what goes over here. All right? It is, isn't it? Yes. It depends on, it will depend on the subject and the auxiliary. Let's go back to this. Can you see the presentation?
Yeah. Yes, all right, all right. Very good. Let's continue with some examples. Uh, can anyone read the first example? Read the example and uh, try to give me the tag question. Anyone, number one. Only read. Yes, read. And also give for, for the first uh, sentence or statement, give me the tag question. Mm. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He estado viendo esos temas aparte porque aunque se vean así como que bastante complejos, mm -hmm. a veces me cuesta un poco entenderlo. Yes, I get it, I get it. Mm -hmm. Like okay. I said, it, 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 this topic is not really difficult. The problem is that it's, it's very complex. You have to know all the auxiliaries. Yes. Okay. Read okay. it. If you, if you don't get it, don't worry. Okay. The car is not a, uh, it's best for me. Yes, mm -hmm. the tag question. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I don't know. You don't know? All right, no. does anybody, does anybody know? Let me see who, mm. who, who. Tendría que ser, okay, a ver. We got Ronald and Stephanie available. And maybe or soon, Magdiel. Teacher, did you uh, write an example in the page before? No, this one, no? Yes. Oh. Oh, you mean the uh, I did I did that, but over here. Ah, uh, that that one. Yes. Entonces sería Okay, and let, take a look over here. What is the subject of the sentence? You you have to pay attention to the subject of the sentence. The, and the subject right here is the car. Yeah. The auxiliary the... is the auxiliary is the auxiliary yes. is is all right, and uh -huh. it is in the negative form. Uh huh. Entonces isn't es, it? Isn't it? No, kind no. of. Okay. The thing okay. is that when when the statement is negative, the tag question is the uh -huh. opposite. It means, or I mean, the tag question will be affirmative yes okay, okay. so is it will be sorry is it exactly it will be is it is yes it. Okay. is it but take a look it's there the car okay. is not the car is not at it at its best performance is it okay. is it all right let's take a look at the second one stephanie can you read it Yes, the music video is a masterpiece. What is masterpiece? It's like uh, I don't even know the word in Spanish, but that like it's very good. Let me see what masterpiece is, is in Spanish. I've never seen the word masterpiece. Like not no, I don't know. Ah, obra maestra. <laughs> That's the word. Yeah, obra maestra. That's masterpiece. Wow. What is the the tag question, Stephanie? Uh it would be, isn't it? Exactly, isn't it? Because we have the music video. The music video. The subject is it. Excuse me. Then we have the auxiliary is or the verb is. So that's what what takes it. All right, look. The music video is a masterpiece, isn't it? Next, Ronald, help us, Ronald. Read the example. You. Okay. 
What about this not there? All right. Guys, let me know when you are available, okay? Because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can read. Okay, Marilyn, read, read, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You create web page. Mm -hmm. Seria, um, are you? No. No. <laughs> okay. The thing is that you have to you have to pay attention to the auxiliary in this case. You create web pages. We don't have an auxiliary, but take a look at the structure. Subject, verb, complement. This is the structure for simple present. Which auxiliaries mm -hmm. do we use for simple present? We use two auxiliaries. We use, we use do and does. We use do with I, you, we, and they, and we use does with she, he, and it. So you create web pages. Don't you? Mm. Yes. Continue with the other one, Marilyn. This one is it will be easier for you to understand. Okay. You don't tolerate more people. Moody. Moody people. Moody people. Entonces, okay. ahí sí sería do you. Exactly, exactly. Está... The opposite, exactly. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. You okay, don't... Ya, ya voy comprendiendo un poquito. All right, all right. You don't tolerate moody people, do you? Take a look, do you? Let's take a look at more examples. How many do we have? Yeah, we got a couple of more. Okay, look at this one. Let me check. We got Fabricio, we got Emerson. Thank you guys for joining. Raul, welcome. Luis, Luis Javier, welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Let's see. We got the uh, next example. Uh, Stephanie, can you help us read it, please? Stephanie, Ronald. Hello. Okay, Stephanie, read the the the, the examples we could. Both, uh, okay. both. He could and he couldn't. The but first one. Those. Oh, okay. He could go to the new branch opening. Mm -hmm. He yeah, couldn't question, understand. Please? Oh, um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll... Oh, doesn't he? No. No. <laughs> no. Why doesn't? Why mm. doesn't? It would take, be... Take a look at the auxiliary. Couldn't he? Could. Oh, yeah, couldn't. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. We're using could. The auxiliary in the sentence is could. Doesn't that means, or this means, that the tag question will be the opposite of that. And the opposite is couldn't he. Take a look. Yes. Couldn't he. Continue with the other one, Stephanie. He couldn't understand the instructions. Yes. Couldn't he? No. Could could he? Ah, there you go, there you go. I know it is it is difficult to understand. I know it is difficult to understand. Uh it actually not difficult, it is confusing. It is confusing because you don't know you don't know which one to use or what to use. Mauricio, do you have a question? No, I just want to mention I'm available now. All right, thank you. Excellent. Very okay, much. Thanks, thank thanks, thanks. Much. thanks. Sorry, All good right. evening. Me too, teacher. I am available. Okay. Fabricio, thank you. Mauricio Fabricio. All right. Yes, both. Excellent. Sweet, sweet people. So, he couldn't understand the instructions. Could he? And mm -hmm. remember, this, this might change. If we use a different subject, then the subject will be, of course, will be different, right? If I use we could go to the, we could go to the new branch opening, 
couldn't we? They could not understand or they couldn't understand the instructions. Could they? Right? It changes. So we use we use all subjects and we use all auxiliaries. All right. Let's see. Uh well, we got Fabricio, Mauricio, Mauricio. Read the first one with the with Will, Navy. Navy will announce her winning. The that question is? One, one is, is he or she? It's a woman. It's a woman. Okay, won't she? Yes. All right. Won't she? Right. Won't she? Okay. Very good. Very good. Fabricio, read the other one. Okay, teacher. Kenya won't come back to El Salvador. Will she? All right. Will she? Very good. Very good. Okay. Yes. I think we we don't have more examples. Okay, we do have more examples. I thought I had I have finished them all. Okay, let's see. Let me see more people. Marilyn, go ahead. Okay. We have celebrated celebrated holiday. Celebrated. Mm -hmm. Some holidays. Um, haven't we? There you go. You're getting it right. You're getting it. Haven't we? We have celebrated some holidays, haven't we? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie, read the other one. Okay. They haven't hosted events of great importance. Have they? Yes. Okay. They haven't hosted events of great importance, have they? Very good. Thank you. Now, Mauricio again. Mauricio, read with the example with Helen. Helen works at an airport. Um, is, does, doesn't he? Doesn't she? Ah, there you go. Doesn't right. she? Yes. Excuse me. That's my mistake. No. Is is no, no. You're no, right, is... you're right, you're right. Oops. 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 Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's doesn't, right? Yes, it is negative. Okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I don't know why I didn't didn't I didn't change it. Oops. Yes, it's doesn't. My bad. Okay. All right, sorry. So got that one, that one, and this one. That's and she is. The next one, the Fabricio, keep, go ahead, read it. Okay, keep doesn't consume junk food. Mm -hmm. Does he? All right. I then think that know. it's a I, man. I, I think I, I, mix, I mix them. It was it was the other way around. This one is I don't key. I don't know if Kip is a man or a or a woman. No, it's a man. It's a man. Yes. Okay, and it is okay. over here there is a mistake. There's a mistake. It's nominati. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh well, yeah, right. It is we never know. We never know. That is scary though. It's very, very scary. The whole gender thing is very scary. There are too many, many, uh, I don't know, like invented genders. Jeez, man, it's a lot, a lot of them. Okay, there you go. I changed them and fixed them. Just I, I got them wrong. All right. Now, I have some examples, and I'm going to be asking you guys to read the example in the same way. Okay, there you go. We got them over here. Yes. The first one, uh, let me see. Well, I'm going to go ahead. Read the first one, Martin Lady. Anyone? Martha Lady you. take it Martha and Lady take a taxi to work, didn't they? 
Can you repeat the, that question? Uh, didn't they? Didn't they? Why didn't? Because. Yeah. Because oh, well, no. Do they? Ah, uh -huh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. But it's don't, don't they? Don't they. Exactly. Yeah, because it's the opposite, right? Exactly, exactly. You're right. A stake, well, the sentence, the statement is, well, it is an affirmative statement. Martha and lady take a taxi to work. All right? Yes. Yeah. Emerson, are you available now? For the moment, yes. All right. All right, let me know. If you don't uh, respond, I, I will understand, all right? Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Fabricio, read this one, Fabricio, with Edgar. Edgar went to the party and... Isn't he? Repeat, isn't? Isn't he? Why isn't? <laughs> I don't know. I just guessing. <laughs> don't don't guess. Don't guess. <laughs> Let me <laughs> see. Uh, Elgar went to the party. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. What is the, the the structure? The sent. I mean the tense. The structure. Which one is it? Very past. past. Uh -huh. Simple past. It, it is simple past. Exactly. Which auxiliary do we use for simple past? Um, we use do and does for the simple present. What about okay, simple past? Okay. Um, doesn't he? No. Let me help you out. Please. Didn't. Didn't he? Why didn't? Because oh, okay. did, did is the auxiliary for the simple past when we use when we ask questions or when we express negative statements. Okay, okay very good. Sure. It's you. okay, it's okay. Mauricio, read the third one with Jennifer. Well, Jennifer wants peach in um will she? All right, will she? What is pitch in, people? Do you know what it is? Pitch in? No? No, teacher. No. Pitch in is what we, we say in Spanish, like, uh, I don't know, like, hacer la cabuda, right? Uh, but pitch in is como, como, uh, what's the word? La cabuda, unir, reunir. Uh, like, aportar, as the word, as the word. <laughs> Pitching, like, but, but when you're uh, collecting money for a celebration or for something and everybody has to pitch in, like $3, $5, that's pitching in, right? Yes. I said like a word, right? That's what <laughs> exactly. Next, uh, Emerson. Read it, Emerson. The soldier has been to Afghanistan. Isn't he? Again? Isn't he? No. Oh, okay. Has been. The soldier has been to Afghanistan. The soldier has been to hasn't Afghanistan. Be. Hasn't he? Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Hasn't he? Right, right. Excellent, excellent. Next, uh, well, I only have one negative st statement, was which was a uh, Jennifer wants, and oh no, that we had another one over there. All right, Mauri, no, Jennifer, that's the, the only one that was negative, right? Jennifer, Marilyn, read the next one, the two days. Today's class can be fun. Um, can't. It can they? Yes, yes, yes. 
Excellent. Stephanie Reed, excuse me, the other one. There are no volunteers. Mm. Yes. Um, Aren't they? No. <laughs> the answer is, let me help you out, are there. Oh, okay. Remember, when the statement is negative, the that question has to be affirmative. Oh, yeah. You can see. There are not yes. volunteers, are there? Yes. And uh, let me see, Mauricio, read the command or the imperative. Come home early. That is another, that is the same, that question. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Were you here on. yesterday? Were you here yesterday in class? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, this one I did not really explain it to you guys. Uh, I just brought it up. I just mentioned it. Let's see if you guys remember. Uh, no. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. Okay. As you can see, as you can see in the... Uh, in this sentence, sentence, in this command, we don't have an auxiliary. Well, we don't have a subject. But when you or when you're talking about commands or imperatives, we have two options. We can use will, will you, or we can use want you. Both are correct. All right. Come home early, will you? Come home early, won't you? Okay. Ven, hágase temprano, si quieres. That's how it is in Spanish. There was an accident. Okay, this one, uh, Fabricio, read it. There was an accident. There was an accident in the main road. Um, wasn't there? All right. Wasn't. There. There was an accident in the main road, wasn't there? Next. And the last one, your your phone ran out of battery. Tell me, your phone ran out of battery. Isn't it? Repeat it. Isn't it? No. Sorry, Emerson. What happened today, Emerson? <laughs> <laughs> Not full concentrated. Anybody? Anyone? No. Doesn't it? We had a mistake over here. Let me fix the mistake. Finger mistake. Your phone, not you phone. Your phone ran out of battery. Am I dear? What did you say? Isn't it? No. D doesn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it? Because you see, the verb run is in the past form. Ran, ran, in the past form. Run is the base form. Ran is the past form. Your phone ran out of battery. Didn't it? 
All right, that was the review for that questions. Thank you guys for your participation. Now it's time to continue with the pending activity. The pending activity is this one. It's this one. And it says, the indication says, let me help you out with the indication. It says, categorize the characteristics below into C, SEO, sorry, search engine optimization and uh, pay, per, uh, pay per click advertising, compare your answers with a partner. Uh, three of the statements are gonna go with SEO or search engine optimization. And the other three statements are gonna go with pay per click advertising, all right? Let's choose them. Well, let me read them to you and then you will have the chance to, to, to select which one goes with which, right? It's based on special algorithms to analyze the, uh, specific keywords. It is used to direct traffic web to websites. Advertising costs are divided by the number of clicks generated by, by, by advertisement. Rewards are not instant. Content and engagement are vital for this strategy. And the advertisers bet on keyword phrases relevant to their tar target market guys let's choose three of them again three of them are gonna go with seo and the other three are gonna go with pay per click all right let me give you two or three minutes to choose which one which one goes with which Okay, let's check this out. Number one, read number one. Anyone read number one? No, wait. Fabricio, read number one and tell me where it goes. If it goes to uh with the SEO or pay per click. Mauricio or Fabricio? Fabricio, you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, the number one, it's based on a special algorithm that analyzes specific keywords. Uh, it goes with SEO. With SEO, right? Uh, let me... Which color can I use? Okay, here we go. That's the first one. So it goes with the CEO, right? But SEO, I say CEO. All right, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it goes, it goes there. It's based on a special alg algorithms that analyze the specific keywords. Yes, thank you. Magdiel, can you please read the second one? Number two. It is used to direct traffic to website. Number two. Oh, sorry. Reward. Reward are not instant. Uh, but I don't know what is. What is this? Rewards. Rewards are not instant. Do you know what rewards is? No? No. Reward is something you receive after after doing a good deed. When you do something good, somebody or sometimes people give you a reward, a gift, uh something monetary like money, they give you that. When when you lose when somebody loses a pet, a dog or a cat, and you find the dog and the cat and you return this pet, they give you a reward. They give you some money. That's a reward. Recompense. Yes. That's the ah, one. okay. Yes. Okay, I get it. All right. And this game is pay per click. You think so? Pay per click. All right. Let's see. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna check check this out later on. Emerson, read number three and tell me and tell me where it goes. Number three, it is used to direct traffic to websites. Yes. So pay per click. Pay per click, right? Yes. This one. All right. It is used to, to, to direct traffic to websites. Thanks. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let me choose another person. Stephanie, read number four and tell me where it goes. Stephanie? Uh, yes. Content and engagement are vital for vital? strategy. Vital. For vital. this stra strategy, all right? Strategy, where does it, okay. Where does it go, Stephanie? Um... Uh, pay per click. Pay per click. Okay, let's choose it. Let's select it. Let's continue with Marilyn. Read number five. Okay, advertising costs are divided by the number of clicks generated by advertisement. Where does it go? Does it go with uh, SEO or pay per click? I don't know. Uh...
Yes, Ronald. Uh, it goes with uh, it goes with pay per click. Yes, this one goes with pay per click. Ronald, read the last one, number six. Uh, advertisers bid on keyword phrases relevant to their target to their target market. Yes, uh, it goes with uh, SEO. With SEO, all right. So there is one uh, one wrong over here, the ones that we have selected. Okay, let me help you out and uh, yes, tell you where it goes. Number one, correct. Yes, number one is correct because it goes it goes with that one with with uh, with SEO or search engine optimization. The other one is number two. Number two goes with, uh, let me see if I can uh, do this. Yeah, I, I have to erase it. Number two goes with the uh, SEO. All right, number two goes over here. Correct. Number, th uh, number three, it is used to direct traffic to websites. Number three goes with pay-per-click. That one is correct as well. Correct. Yes. Okay. Number one. Number three. Sorry. Right. Number four, content and engagement are vital for this strategy. This one goes with search engine optimization. Correct over here. So this means that we're gonna change it. There you go. For advertising number five goes with this one. Number five is correct. And number six, of course, goes with paper clay. Uh, Zoom is frozen. There you go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Thank you guys for your participation. Now we're going to continue. Let me continue with the next part. And that part is this. Types of jobs in digital marketing. Before we go on to the list, I would like to ask you or I would like you guys to give me some job ideas in digital marketing, in the field of digital marketing. What jobs can you think of? What jobs can you think of for digital marketing? Tell me, tell me. What jobs can you think of when... Uh, for digital marketing. Well, be one uh, as administrative assistant, virtual. Vir virtual? A virtual administrative administrative assistant. Okay. All right. That's that's a good one. What else? What else? What else? What else? Teacher may be a person who works on a on a call center. A person? Who works uh, on a call center? Well, well, wow. There are many people working at call centers. <laughs> many, many different jobs there. Many, many different areas. Many areas. Let me show you the list. I found, I found this list. We might, we might be missing some of them. 
because uh you know digital marketing requires a lot of uh, uh well it involves a lot of aspects it's the internet and you know the internet is not really really something easy to understand it's something very complex and it, it requires a lot of things uh let, i think digital marketing is the future true there are many exciting job roles digital marketing jobs some of them some of them yes if you ask me if you ask me what these people do i might not know i might not know what they do because uh, I don't know. I do not know much about computers or the profession or 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 the things that they do. All right. We got digital marketing manager, influencer marketing manager, UX designer, email marketing manager, e-commerce specialist, data analyst, copywriter, social media marketing manager, content marketing marketing manager, paid marketing specialist. SEO specialist, digital project manager, web developer or web designer, graphic designer, and content strategist. Yes, that's uh, those are the, the the professions or some professions when it comes or when we deal with digital marketing. All right. Yes. Let me see. Do you have any questions about this ones? No questions? No, teacher. Do you know what UX is? UX is? No. That is user, user experience. User experience. The U for user and the, the X for experience. Yes. Okay, like I said, these are some professions that involve or uh, yeah, involve digital marketing. It's not all of them. It's just a few of them. And uh, why am I showing you this? Because if we go to the book, we're going to find some of them over here. Yes. But before we go down to that part, we're going to start by reading the today's objective or this lesson's objective. Discuss different job profiles require, required in digital marketing. Yes. Look at this. How do you get started by, sorry, to become an e-commerce specialist? Do you have any ideas? How do you become an e-commerce specialist, people? What do you study? Or, or, or yeah, what do you study? I don't know. Do you know? Do you have any ideas? To become an e-commerce specialist, how do you start? What do you study? Tell me, guys. Do you have any ideas? You have to study something like marketing related to marketing. Okay. Like uh yeah, marketing, right? It has to be marketing. <laughs> or or something about computers. More ideas, people, more ideas. Well, first of all, I think uh, first you have to become a. Uh, you had you had you need to have a good experience using a, a computer, hmm. and manage all the software, the office software. Yes, basic ones. Yeah, the basic ones. Okay. 
Thank you, Emerson, for your for your opinion. What else? What else? No more? Let me ask directly then. Let me see. Oh, All right. Marilyn, what do you think? What do we need to become an e-commerce specialist? Marilyn is not there. Ronald, what about you? What do you think? What do we need to start or what do we need to become an e-commerce specialist? No. Magdiel, what do you think? Uh, there are other teachers, mm -hmm. only five. Sorry? Only five sentences. It's the first question. We're discussing the first question. How do we, or what do we need to become an e-commerce specialist? This question. Um, okay. No ideas? No idea for a moment. Okay, it's okay. People, let's discuss the second question. What qualifications with S, because the S is missing there, what qualifications are required to become a digital, sorry, to be a digital marketing manager? What qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? What can you say? Okay, let me start asking directly then. Mauricio, what do you think? Mm, well, I saw some universities provide um, some course or diploma about how to be a, a, a manager or something like that. But I consider that uh, to get a, a, that position is probably at the beginning be a and be as a I don't know as a designer or analyst and something like that and to get experience and to be able to develop in another position like a manager. Mm -hmm. That for me that is 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 a required element a work in another position to get the, the, the manager position. Yes, of course, of course, right? Yes. All right, good opinion, excellent. Thank you for sharing it. Let's see what Elizabeth thinks. Elizabeth, what can you say, Elizabeth? What qualifications do does a manager or a digital marketing manager need? What does he need? No, okay. 
Let's continue, people, with the with the part number two. It says there building vocabulary. Label the descriptions with the correct name of the job. We have uh, six different uh, job positions right here. Digital, I'm sorry, data analyst, content manager, web designer, chief digital office, web manager, and community manager. And we have the six definitions or what each of the professions or the jobs, or we have the job descriptions right here. An individual, let me read them to you. An individual who builds, grows, and manages online communities. This job is mainly related to, to the styling and layout of pages with content, including text and images. This person collects, processes, and performs statistical analysis of data. Someone who, for someone who supervises the content presented on websites and blogs. Five, an individual who helps a company grow by co convert, converting traditional businesses to digital ones. And six, a person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Let me see. Statistical. Statistic. What difficult word to, to pronounce. Statistical. Performs stati statistical. Yes. Right. For me, it's more difficult because I'm a tartamudo. Me puedo pronunciar la statistical. And perform stat statistical analysis. All right. There you go, guys. You got the vocabulary. You got the definitions or the descriptions. I need you to place the, the profession uh, or the job right in the space, which you think goes with, with, the, with the definition. Okay. I'm going to give you four. Four minutes to do this. Four. Four minutes. Four minutes. <clears throat> Four minutes. Go ahead.
Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. What about the rest? Hmm. Okay. Let's begin sharing. Fabricio, read the first one. Read the the the, the description and then mention the job. Okay, teacher. Uh, an individual who builds, grows, and manages online communities. Uh, for me, it's a community manager. Okay. Do you guys agree with Fabricio? Hello, do you agree with Fabricio? Are you here with me? Um, I don't know if it is content manager. Content manager, okay, we can uh, take that one into consideration. Content manager. Does anybody else have a different idea? No. That's community manager is this job, this job is my mainly related to the spider and layout flash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for Mario, he, the, the community manager is the second one. And for Ronald, the, that one is uh, the content manager. No, which one? Yes, content manager. Mm, it is correct. An individual who builds, grows, and manages online communities, that is the community manager. Yes, it is correct. The second one, uh, Ronald, read the second one and give me the one that you think is correct or goes right there. Okay. Uh, this job is mainly related to the styling and layout of pages with content, including text and images. Um, I think that it was that it will is web designer. Web designer. Let's write it down. Web. Web designer. Guys, do you agree with Ronald? Yes, teacher, I agree. Yes, you agree? Who else agrees with Ronald, of course? I think we all agree. So it is web designer, web designer, yes, correct. And number three, Magdiel, read number three. This person collects, processes, and performs a statistic analysis of data. Yes. I think is data analyst. Data data analyst. Yes, that's the one. Data analyst. Oops. Thank you. Thank you for in this person collects processes and performs statistical analysis of data of data. Yes. All right. Very good, very good. Number four. Mauricio, read number four. Someone who supervises the content presented 
on the websites and blogs. And is web manager. Web manager. Web manager. Let me write it down. All right. Do you guys agree with Mauricio, someone who supervises the content presented on websites and blogs? I disagree, teacher. You disagree, all right. Why? Well, what is the answer uh, for you? Because the statement in itself says um supervises the content for me it's a content manager i think you're right yes is the content the content manager yeah someone who supervises the content presented on websites and blogs number five let's see who's available uh, Marilyn, read number five. Marilyn, hello. I'm here. An okay. individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital ones. Mm -hmm. Which job position is it? We have two missing, chief digital manager and web manager. Hello. Marilyn, I'm talking to you. Sí, aquí estoy analizando. <laughs> all right, all right. You're thinking? Yeah. But I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. Okay, guys, I need your help. Which profession or which job position is it? Is it web manager or chief digital officer? It's a uh, well. Uh... Web designer. Web designer. No, we got it. That we got that one already. We got it. We got it. It is. It is Chief Digital Officer. Yes. And we have the last one. How do you read the last one? A person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Yes, and it is? Which one is it? Um, a web designer? No, no, no. No. It's the web manager. 
because web designer is number three, number two, I'm sorry. Okay, you're right. Okay, very good. Thank you guys for participating. Let's continue work, working with part number three. It says there, level the requirements A or B to match the right job. We have a web designer and content manager, basic HTML, web page scripting, updating websites, knowledge of CEO, SEO, sorry, uh, excellent writing skills in English, create engaging content, multimedia design and web development, development. All right, how, how are we gonna do this? I don't know, just label the requirements. A or B and match the right job. I don't understand how we're gonna do it. I'm guessing we're gonna place we're gonna place A over here or B, A or B, A or B or A or B, right? Yes. That's what we're gonna do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's uh type A next to it or B next to it. The same here, the same here, and so on. Let me give you three minutes to do this activity. Three minutes. Three minutes. Go, go for it. Go for it. Hold on. Gotta do some real quick. My neck hurts a lot. Let's bring it back right now. What's this? Okay, let's begin. Basic HTML. 
is that the web designer the what is it requirement or the content manager requirement what do you think what can you say guys teacher yes i think that even i don't know what uh, html is uh, i think that it goes with uh, the content manager let's write cm cm for content manager all right because it says basic and it's a uh, web designer it's supposed to have a uh, to be a, a, a exactly a, a professional in in yeah, that right, field. Yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. Okay. What about web page scripting? Guys, the web page scripting. People, hello. I think that it goes with web designer because because. Scripting, I think it's something like uh, programming or something like that. Yes, yes. As to do with programming, so it is it is something more more advanced. And the content manager is just about content. It's not he doesn't deal with with the uh, with the uh, how can I say this with programming with the web pages. The the content manager is just about content. Yes, for, for users, for people to see. Yes. Then it says updating websites. What about updating websites, people? For me, updating websites. Same. Web, the same? Web designer. Okay, let's write W, W, D. W, B over here. <laughs> I don't know. WD for web designer, all right? Yes. Updating websites is not it's not part of the content manager. Like I said, content, just content. Yes, like pictures and then uh maybe links or or colors and things that go in the web page. Uh knowledge of C S E O. Knowledge of S E O. Remember that S E O stands for search. Engine optimization. Optimization means configuration, settings. Guys? <laughs> Hello? I didn't hear anything. I 
I heard some noise. Um, let me help you out with this one. This one is is pretty simple. Since it deals it deals with uh, optimization. Optimization that will be with the CM, the con sorry, the what CM is content manager, yes. The content manager deals with has to know about the SEO, right? Then we have excellent writing skills. Is this is this a, a characteristic or requirement for the web designer or the content manager? What do you think? What do you think? Excellent writing skill in English. Uh -huh. For I me, it's for both, but uh, probably uh, I can say, I can say contact manager. Yes, because uh, you know he's always writing uh, maybe ads or a post or or a content in a picture where you see letters. So I'm guessing I'm guessing he's talking about the content manager right here. So CM right, create engaging content. This one is easy to understand. Create engaging content. Tell me. CM. This one is CM content manager. Multimedia design, multimedia design. It'd be both web designer and content manager. Yeah, but I think most, I think most, so too. most web designer. I think so too, but I, I would say web designer because because I think it's four and four for each, four requirements for web designer and four for content manager. We have already covered the content, uh, the content manager requirements. Look, one, two, three, and four. But I think both both should possess or should uh, have this requirement. Web designer, yes, and uh, web development also go with web designer, right? Yes, yes. All right, we got it there. Now, we're going to work in pairs. And look at this. Look at what we are going to do. I know that we're not going to finish this activity today. But I need you guys to really, really work on it. Because you are going to present it tomorrow. I need you to work on, on uh, Microsoft Word. And you're going to do the, the thing over there. The activity there on Microsoft Word. I'm going to allow you to share the screen right now. It's already allowed, you can use it, you can share the screen. It says there, in pairs, create the job profile for a community manager. What are the technical areas as a community manager should, sorry, what are the technical areas a community manager should know about? What are the responsibilities for this position? All right, that's what we're going to do, all right? It doesn't have to be a very a very deep thing. It can be some really basic or superficial, like yes, you can see just the surface of it. You you should you you are not supposed to go deep uh, or deeper. It's like the superficial part of it. Yes, all right. So it's gonna be in pairs. I know a lot of you are not available for participation, but there are some of you that are really really available. Yes, let me create them right now. Let me just Emerson, are you available? You're available, right? You are available? No, actually, right now, no, no, teacher. Oh, all right, all right. You're not. Either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you the. Okay, here we go. Please join join the the 
the individual groups and please work on the activity together. I will be monitoring. I need everybody to join. Even though you are a listener, I need you guys to join and be there. Marilyn, Magdiel, join the, the, the session, the, the group, please. Your partners are waiting for you over there. Marilyn, can you please join? Marilyn, can you hear me? Thank you. Yeah. Me too. I don't know about that. I think we we will search and send Google. <laughs> Yeah, go go to Google and share ideas. Yeah, teacher, because I don't have any idea about the the requirements uh, that that profession, uh, the job profile of a community manager. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay, but I will search right now. ¿Cómo se dice San Google? Saint Google. Saint Google. The famous Saint Google. Google is a lifesaver. Yes. <laughs> As In many ways. Ha salvado muchos semestres. From the university. Sí. St. Google said qualification to be a community manager, experience facilitating and learn leading online communities, knowledge of various social media and community platforms, tracks record and engaging with customer of brothers user. Keep discussing, I'll be right back, I'll be back. What happened here? I hear no discussion, what's going on? Guys, are you there? Hello, uh, teacher. Just so uh, I I had a problem uh, because uh, when you were um, giving the instructions, I don't I don't have clear the activity. You didn't hear that hear the activity. Yes. Oh, you sure are you there? This is the activity. Create a uh, wait. Create the job profile. A job profile for a community manager. And you're going to mention what the uh, technical areas he has to manage and uh, okay. what responsibilities he has. This is the activity. Let me share it to you in the chat so you can see it. That way you can see it as well. Wait. 
Okay, there you go. It's there in the chat. Mauricio is busy right now. I don't know. I'm here. Oh, all right. Then you can, uh, if you don't know much about community managers, you can go to Google and you can find some information there and discuss or share ideas about it. Yes. So you can do Okay. I will be right back later on. Hello, hello. What's going on? No discussion over here? No, hello. Okay, it covers the part uh, of the qualifications uh, or the job profile for a community manager, I think. Yeah. The second part, uh, what are the technical areas a community manager should know about? Ask again, St. Google. What are the thing? Okay, let's see what Google says. A solid understanding of the organization, including product knowledge, ability to build and, impl and implement community-focused content, content strategies, and understanding of PR-related activities. I don't know what PR is. So, social media Savvy with double double B with, to drive internet engagement. This is confused. This one is confused. Top 10 skills every efficient community manager, manager should have. I think this one is good. Online communities are the most widely used for market. I don't know what I'm saying. Samples, excellent, excellent communication skills. I haven't found um, anything about the technical. I, I had 10 uh, skills. Could you send me over here in this space? Through, could you send me through the message to, to, um, to the chat the group? Or... Yes. Okay. Mm. 
laptop, but I'm working on my personal phone right now. I can't share this in the chat because I I don't use my personal phone at the chat. I I have the registrado el teléfono de la empresa y no el personal. Uh, I'm here. Ah, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm trying to switch uh, between the this online session and the the, the chat uh, el chat del grupo pero no el no el no el del no el de Zoom pero no logro ni, ni hacer pequeña esta pantalla ni acceder al otro chat technology uh -huh. technology technology giving you some issues huh I'm clicking on minimize and Nothing you happens. Can, you can minimize it. I can't. I'm trying to, but nothing happens. One, you can press. You can press. Uh, Let me try with. You can I'll, press inicio, inicio y la, y la doble flecha. I don't know. I'm I using know. right now Alt plus. Uh, Tab. Pero ¿cuál tab es? Hoy sí ya me cambié. Aquí está lo que quería yo. Todos lo van a ver ahí porque está en el grupo, pero. Yes. Can you see it, Magdiel? And yes, yes, yes. We're gonna stop right here because it's time, people. We're gonna go back to the main session and we're gonna continue working on this tomorrow. I'm just gonna take okay, a picture, teacher. take a picture of the of the groups to to not to forget about it. What was the other one? See you back in the message. Thanks. I see you, Abraham. Say your work, Magdiel. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Continue tomorrow. Continue on Sunday, on, on Monday. Not just for all all group of your family, and yes. Facebook nowadays it focuses to to search or to yes to search or or, or I heard you say it, uh, compartir of and share and share uh, yes videos and pictures for your family for uh, holidays or something like that, or to enjoy some landscapes or something mm -hmm. like that. 
And I think that I don't like uh, 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 Twitter. I, and now is another another name is X, something like that. Um, but, but I think that for for in another country, for example, United States, it is very important uh, to have Twitter because Twitter uh, search Twitter 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 uh, post. Uh, a lot of topical news about the country, uh, very important for immigrants, for example, or for for another area in the in the, in the country. No, here, cause uh, here is just for 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 shared um, yellow news. For me, I think that is well, mm -hmm. but, but um, it's okay. Um. Yes, the, the, yes. If community manager, if one if one community manager needs to resolve all each all 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 areas about uh, social media, oh, it's impossible for me. I don't know how many managers uh, handled each platform, not just one or your two. Uh, I think that uh, uh, each. Well, Facebook, Instagram has a lot of managers uh, to yes. for different areas. Wow! Yes, right. Yeah, Excellent. I think, uh, and no, Ronald, Ronald mentioned that a uh, very important, and I I got the idea, and is 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 another word is I don't know. I mentioned it, Ronald, that uh, if you if you the, the the company you think ah all uh do the the same work but it's not it's very complicated for me it's a great area but it's complicated because I'm 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 <laughs> I'm an agent in my in my job but behind me are a lot of person work on on the structure of the company. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, excellent, excellent. Well, we have uh, reached the ending of the session, people. It's uh, three minutes past uh, 10. So I don't know if you guys have any any last questions. No. No? No, oh, teacher. All right, all right. Then uh, we're going to just update the attendance list, and then you guys will be free to go. All right. Uh, Diego, hold on. Diego Josué Nides Leiva was not here today. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Uh, thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes was not here today. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. And then we have uh, Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Yes, thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. Present. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And Ronald. Alexander Vasquez Diego. Present. Thank you, Raul. All right, guys, we have nothing else to do. Thank you for being here today, for making a great effort. I know it is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Tomorrow is going to be more difficult, more tiring. Uh, well, there will be more, more tiresome and everything. So, guys, uh, I wish you a good night. Take care and sleep well. And, uh, well, I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right. Good night, everyone. Take care. Good night, everyone.
Bye bye, bye bye, people. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.